Hi there. I'm Kate Wharton, and this is a question that I made up from section 2.1 that goes over frequency and relative frequency tables. Oh, and I wrote it there twice. So an organization is interested in how many Americans still read a newspaper. In 2008, the General Social Survey asked 1,000 random Americans how often they read the newspaper in a week. The responses are given in this table. So this is qualitative data, qualitative because they were asking them, how often do you read the newspaper? And they were measuring it in these categories. They didn't ask the respondents to ask, answer with a number. So the relative frequency, 30% read it every day, 20% a few times a week, 15% once a week, 15% less than once a week, and then for never, there's this question mark. Ha ha. What is the population of interest? So in this case, the population of interest is all Americans. Americans. All Americans. And what is the sample? Well, they sampled 1,000 random Americans, so the sample are the 1,000 Americans that they talked to. Americans. Is this an experiment or an observational study? Well, because they just asked people, how often do you read the newspaper, and they didn't have any controls, this is an observational study. What is an element? In this case, each person that they were talking to is an element, so an element is a person, or an American, if you prefer. And since they were only measuring one variable, which is newspaper reading, the way they measured it, did they measure this in a way that is qualitative or quantitative? They could have gone either way with this variable if they'd said write down the number of times you read a newspaper every week, but instead they made everyone choose from this category. So in this case, this is qualitative variable. So what percentage of the people never read the newspaper? Okay, here's never. There's a question mark there. So the way you look at this is you know that the sum of the relative frequencies, the sum, this is a fancy sigma, the sum has to equal 1. So we look at these and we know that this is 30 plus 20 plus 15 plus 15. If we add up all of these, we get 50 plus 30 is 0.80. So we think this missing one, what's the difference? 1 minus 0 0.80 is equal to, ah, equal to 0 0.20. So we know that this one has to be 0 0.20. So the answer here is 0 0.20, or I will accept, either way, 20%. How many people in the sample answered that they read the newspaper once a week? So once a week is 15% of the people, and because there were 1,000 people in the sample, 1,000 times 0.15, that's supposed to be 0.15, so what is 15% of 1,000 is 150. So the answer is 150 people in the sample answered that they read the newspaper once a week. And finally, suppose that the Institute concludes 30% of all people read the newspaper every day. And so is this an example of descriptive statistics or statistical inference? Well, they had their little sample here of 1,000 people, and that 15% of them read the newspaper every day. And then they are concluding, they're going backwards to conclude that given this whole population of Americans, that 15% of them read the newspaper every day. So because they're making an inference, it's statistical inference. So that's how you work a problem like that on a test.